the new ebook uh, began um, this past year in the end of 2012 um, when Gary St. Martin um, suggested that he could uh, work on an ebook. Um, he has a publishing company for um, iBook Publishing Company. When we started to put all of the material together, I dug up a lot of archival video and audio from many years ago, uh, some from as long as uh, 1980 audio tapes of Moe's and tapes that I had never really used in any way. And those were very unprofessional tapes that uh, camera people had helped me over the years. Maybe my housekeeper's grandson helped and uh, he was not a professional cameraman. Uh, the cameras were uh, not up to par. They were just home camcorders and the VHS was uh, very old when we finally started to use it. It had been uh, transferred and retransferred many times and so the quality was compromised but we did the best we could and um, we uh, started adding new video clips and audio clips and listening to Mose after all this time it was like he was there with us uh, hearing him speak with Willie Mae and um, listening to myself uh, from 30 years ago um, asking him all of these questions that sometimes didn't really sound too professional either, but um, that's how we uh, added some of this material. Um, so we did the best we could considering the quality and under the circumstances it was worth it to try to get um, some quotes from Moe's even if the tape was muffled or um, old in nature. Transferring of the paper book of Moe's to um, uh, an iPad was a little bit difficult. I had never even seen an iPad before. I'm not a real computer literate person. And um, so it began without me ever having even seen an iPad for the first several months. And then I got my son to buy me an iPad and looked at it for the first time just this month. Um, when Gary started working on the files, he realized that the, uh, that the InDesign files didn't exactly transfer into the iPad format, so we had to compress two pages into one and reconfigure a lot of the, um, of the material. Um, another uh, obstacle was that the iPad iBook um, publishing software was really new and experimental at that point um, this past year, and so a lot of the software uh, had technical issues of transferring the files using the same fonts uh, weren't applicable at first and a lot of uh, extra handwork had to come into this to uh, hand copy each and every part of it at first. Well, uh, as it pro progressed, um, we realized that the only way to really get a handle on this was for Gary to come uh, all the way from his comfortable home in California to our jungle environment here in Yalapa, which is a small fishing village. We only had electricity in the last um, numbers of years and so internet was a little slower and he had to dodge a possible um, uh, stink bug or, or stay away from uh, any scorpions and deal with some of the electrical primitive quality uh, of the fact that sometimes his uh, all of his computers would stall out. Um, another thing was that we had to lock up the equipment uh, several times during the day and take down the monitor and all of the hard drives uh, that he had brought with him because we didn't want to have them stolen. The, the house that we live in doesn't have any walls or windows and so it's just open air with a palm roof and it just opens to the atmosphere. So we had to lock it up quite often and, and so there were a lot of just little things that he was not used to the heat and um, the different um, uh, menus and Spanish speaking that he had never spoken Spanish. So at night we'd have to go and get something to eat and he'd have to figure out how to translate what, he was, what was on the menu. Some of the fun parts about working on the book was um, coming up with how the iPad was going to 
um, first the book would be introduced to you because it's an interactive book and so we added uh, pop-ups and uh, different audio clips and video clips and different things that were certainly not available when we uh, when the first paperback book was published then I crawl to your bed. You got me thing I want gone. Wrap on round your leg because mom crawling can't snake me. Baby, I rule my dean. Uh, so like in, in this book, we uh, uh, had to come up with how we were going to introduce the book. And the, uh, the front cover has this beautiful red and black. And so uh, we decided that we would have a play off of, of that with some music. And that's when it took us quite a while to come up with the music we wanted to use in the background. Um, I play music and, uh, and play the xylophone and um, sing, and so uh, with Chris um, Moses, uh, we started out working on a song that we thought would be great for it called Ragmop, because it spells all of the letters A, B, C, D, and it was a peppy tune, but it didn't work out, and it, um, through working on it, um, we came up with the, a really great uh uh, music track for it, I think, which is uh, the, all the songs of the famous Son Thomas blues man and also artist of clay uh, skulls and um, different uh, other art objects, uh, his music. I had met um, Son Thomas at the Corcoran in the early 80s when I went to Chaperone Mose and um, he played uh, at the opening exhibit at the Corcoran. Um, and so I, I visited him also some years after that at his home in Yazoo, Mississippi. And um, his music is just absolutely great. And it's blues music, Big Legged Woman, um, uh, I'm Just a King Snake, and um, uh, different steel rags that are just great. and. So we tried to use his music whenever we could. Uh, he didn't have a lot of luck with his um, contracts, of some of his music contracts, and so I'm hoping that this time maybe his family will uh, reap some of the benefits of, of getting to use some of the songs that Son created over the years. Um, he passed away a number of years ago, and uh, it was also great just to listen to all of his songs and choose whether I wanted to use, um, you know, Big Legged Woman or uh, Brown Girl or uh, all the strange different songs that he created uh, in his raunchy way. Some of them were a little too raunchy for the book, and we chose the ones that we thought would really go great um, and looked through a lot of his old video clips that William Ferris had taken back in the early years in Leland, Mississippi. He's from Leland, Mississippi. Um, I think it's in the Yazoo area. Um, I'm not sure if it's called Yazoo or Leland. Son Thomas is from an area in Mississippi called Yazoo, Mississippi. It's near Leland. So all in all, we fin finished uh, most of the work here in Yalapa, and uh, um, we really enjoyed working on this book and transforming the paperback into um, an interactive book that, that really comes alive. And I, I think that it does bring back uh, in a, the life of Mose Tolliver in a vibrant way, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as we enjoyed making it. Thanks.